Hi and welcome to another edition of the Aussie Ideas Man. This time I'm not going to show my ugly old mug because I'll be putting it right next to Quincy and that won't do me any good. Well, I'm going to try to speed through this. I hate talking into my laptop but I will try to speed through this and just give other thoughts that are contrary to these myths being debunked or refuted. Anyway, the first thing I'll say before I even start is that you don't bust a myth just by saying something. If you recall the TV series, you would note that Mythbusters went to extremes in setting up tests and then showing the results. And if the results busted the myth, then the myth was busted. They don't just go, oh, we're going to bust a few myths here. Just listen to us. Just think about that for a moment. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, Quincy from Team Up Terra here. Welcome back to another episode where we debunk Terra's biggest myths and misconceptions. Because Aptera is the first of its kind, it's no wonder why we get thousands of questions and comments about our vehicle of the future. To set the record straight and clear up some of your questions, I'm here to help. Let's get started, shall we? Myth number one, Aptera's solar panels can be easily damaged on the road. One of the most commonly raised questions we get from our future solar electric vehicle drivers is about Aptera's solar panel lifespan. While it's right to assume that Aptera's solar panels will be exposed to tougher environments than normal solar panels, we've designed our solar panels to be automotive grade, meaning durable enough to withstand gravel roads, highway speeds, and even the occasional hailstorm. We okay, I'll stop her here. First of all, when the people were saying these things were going to get damaged, what occurred was they put them on the nose cone of the gamma and within weeks they removed them. They made who knows how many hundreds in a factory and straight after that they said, no, we can't use these things. They're inferior. And I believe the reason was, was because they were delaminating. So I think delamination was caused by being on the vehicle whether it is because of the weather or because of the vibrations or whatever, who cares what the reason is? They delaminated and they delaminated quickly. So this was not a myth. This actually was proven to be true. Now she's saying they've designed them to not be affected by weather or any other factor, but it's only designed. You can't bust a myth by making a design. And this is what I say. We don't have any new solar panel that they've designed on any prototype. So how have they debunked this myth? It's a fail. It's an abject fail already. Let's move on to the next. We expect Aptera Solar to last over 10 years, even in the most extreme conditions. Plus, our robust solar panel design allows Aptera owners to easily upgrade or replace their solar. Once our tech gets even more efficient or in the unlikely event of damage. Myth. Okay, so she ended with saying we expect this and we expect that and oh and it will be cheap but who knows we <laughs> we want something that we know is going to work and the only way we can know it's going to work is for it to be tested. They're only designed, they're not tested. Number two, you're more likely to scrape the curb in Optera. Because of Aptera's wider wheelbase and aerodynamic wheel covers, many people wonder if they'll be susceptible to scraping the curb in their Aptera. Luckily, we've accounted for that in our design. Our solar vehicles are equipped with a backup camera, parking assist overlay, and ultrasonic distance sensors on the nose of the vehicle that communicates how far away you are from obstacles so you can worry less when getting where you need to go. Addition Watch how that outer wheel pan has already dipped as it's just turning a little bit to go into the parking space. It has dipped a long way. Now on the other side, which you can't see, you can see the inner wheel pan has risen, but you will know that the back of that wheel pan will have dipped also. It's how it operates. They have got this wrong from the start and they've never fixed it. This dipping motion will hit curbs, not just curbs, but speed bumps and other debris on the road. So it's just not a matter of curbs. These wheel pants are impractical and they haven't busted the myth. They've actually shown a video that shows that they're more likely to strike things. Additionally, the corners of Aptera's... It was a bit more prominent just before I break here. ...wheel covers are made from EVA foam a high energy absorbing closed cell foam that absorbs impact shock 
and allows for inexpensive and simple replacement if needed. Chris you would be replacing them. I think they said they were 35 US dollars each, which in Australia is well over $50. And you would be replacing them very often. This isn't busting a myth. This is saying we've set it up so that we can sell you stuff almost weekly. This is here to help me show you what it's like to navigate a few tricky maneuvers in Aptera. I'm going to show you something that would give any other vehicle extreme road rash on the rear tires or maybe pop them. Uh, since Aptera only has three wheels, I can literally cut left out of this parking space and the rear wheel is something I don't even have to worry about. Okay, I'll say a little thing about this. Anybody who drives a car should be able to go another four foot further forward and then cut left. And because of a tight turning circle in most cars, much tighter than Aptera's, they will still not use up too much of the road space on the other side of the road. He would be going to the other side of the road because that's the side Americans drive on. So no need to cut left sharply. But all we need to alleviate any possible problem with a four-wheel car is just to drive four feet further forward. In addition to this, I'll just add that if he had to go on a one-way street that was narrow, even cutting left like that, he would probably have to do another three-point turn just so that the front right wheel didn't strike the opposite curb. Thanks, Chris. Myth number three. Abtera is fragile because it's made with lightweight materials. While it's true that Abtera vehicles are designed to be aerodynamic and energy efficient, they're also built with advanced composite materials that are incredibly strong and durable, even stronger than the steel vehicles are traditionally made from. In fact, Abtera features a safety cell made with advanced composites and metal structures for impact strength. Made similarly to airplanes and Formula One racing vehicles, these energy absorbing methods are a core part of our safety strategy and have proven effective time and time again in high speed impacts. I don't think there's been a high speed impact for any Aptera prototype. All that happened was somehow they smashed a front left wheel pan, blaming a BMW for backing into it without seeing it. It was shattered and it took them at least a month, probably two months, I can't remember but I was watching at the time, how soon they took to repair that wheel pant. This is not a good sign. People who said that it's fragile aren't really talking about the whole body. They're usually referring to that part between the nose cone and the wheel itself. And it does look fragile. If you watch any Formula One races, it only takes the slightest touch of the wheels and... <laughs> and that suspension joint breaks off too easily. The people who made this observation have not had their myth busted, certainly not by just saying we've taken care of it and not shown anything. No prototype has really had this happen. I do recall they claimed that the beta had clipped the gutter and the damage was minimal, but we don't know at what speed and we don't know at what angle and we don't know, we don't know the details. It could have been something where an ordinary car would have clipped that gutter and maybe just put a few scratches on the mag wheel, which happens a lot. But in either case, I can't see that this has been busted at all. Myth number four. Aptera has worse blind spots than traditional vehicles. In reality, Aptera's design prioritizes safety and visibility with extra long strategically placed windows to minimize blind spots. Additionally, our vision system, complete with side view and rear view cameras and camera displays, completely... Take a look at that to the left. That is one thick A-pillar, plus a very thick bar that goes through the window, which should be completely clear. That is more blind spot than you'll ever see on just about every car on the road. But the people making this claim weren't just talking about forward vision or front side vision. They were talking about rear side vision as well and even complete rear vision. It is just made with so many blind spots. Now, you can put cameras there, but cameras don't remove the blind spots. They just work a way around them. The blind spots are there. So you can't say the myth is busted because cameras provide other means to see. The blind spots are there and they're always there. The only way that they can remove those blind spots is a complete redesign of the body. So it's not a busted myth. The blind spots are there and they, in this particular view forward, which is more important than going backwards anyway, 
This view forward proves that that's a massive blind spot to the left of the driver. Eliminates blind spots on the left and right of your vehicle. So rest assured, Aptera drivers, you'll enjoy enhanced awareness of your surroundings, ensuring a safe and confident driving experience. I do believe that those left-hand drive vehicles have a real difficulty seeing the right-hand wheel spat as well. So it's not just a blind spot looking for other vehicles around, but it's a blind spot looking for your own vehicle. Myth number five. Aptera can't go through a drive through ATM. Well, actually, that one's mostly true. I actually might be able to do it. <laughs> I did this thing too. <laughs> I guess it's possible. I guess so. Do like this. But just like fossil fuels, cash is a thing of the past. <laughs> I guess you might have... So she's resorted to lying too. Fossil fuels are not a thing of the past. I don't think 10% of cars being EVs has turned fossil fuels into a thing of the past, not when 90% of them on the roads are still driven by fossil fuels. Nor is cash a thing of the past. Just because people use cards to a greater degree than before doesn't mean that cash has gone. It's still there. You just go to a bank and ask for some cash, and if you've got the funds, they'll give you the cash. Cash is not a thing of the past. So this is a lie, both ways, fossil fuels and cash, and she just fools the gullible. They know their audience. They're slick. They know how to fool the gullible. And the gullible are enough for them, they think, to fill their brown paper bags. Have to open the door the next time you roll up to grab some quick cash. And there you have it, folks. We've debunked some of the biggest myths and misconceptions about Aptera. No, you haven't. Remember, don't believe everything you hear. If you've enjoyed this episode... You well, that's a very important thing that I say. Don't believe everything you hear from Aptera. Especially don't believe all the guff. Really. If you watch all my videos, you will know that they have never proven a thing. So why should you believe it? She's right there. That's the most right she has been the whole time. You can catch up on other myth debunking episodes using the links provided in the video description below. Another thing about this myth busting is I think that they use them when they don't want to tell us anything over the month that the myth busting comes out. So let's just watch and see if they still have their monthly update or whether this is in lieu of it. I think many times, I don't know, they must have gone for what's 412s for now. There's probably 50 months that have gone by now. See how many of them have been proper updates or whether they've diverted into things like this myth-busting nonsense. They are nowhere near what they claim to be. Nowhere near it. Hopefully that's a bit quicker than most things. Their videos are super short anyway. Stay sunny. That's all for me. Bye for now. Stay safe.